Good morning. Today's passage is Matthew chapter 16, and there are three major topics in there. The first is Jesus' confrontation with the uh, Sadducees and the Pharisees. Then he talks about forming his church. And then finally, he predicts his death. Today, we'll focus on the uh, formation of Jesus' church in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. To help us out, we're going to kind of play a word association game. I'll say a word and let's see what the first thing that you think about is. The first word is church. When you hear church, what do you think about? The building behind me? Or do you think about the people? Because the church is the people. You and I are the church here at Willowbrook. Also, you ask the question then, how is Jesus going to form his church? Well, he says, first of all, that he will build it upon a rock. And that kind of led you to think, well, maybe it is a building. But the rock he's referring to there is Peter's confession of who he is. He is the Messiah, the anointed one. And so that's the foundation is that Christ is Lord. But then to see how will he go about it, you look later on to another phrase, and that is he says he will do it by making, by having you and I make disciples. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, he gives the great commission, which is to go into all the world and make disciples. And the verb there, go, is in the present tense, meaning as you're going, just in your daily routine. This past uh, weekend, I flew to Charleston, South Carolina to uh, celebrate my 85th birthday and my great-granddaughter Logan's second birthday. And so on the flight, I had uh, four different seatmates. Well, two of them didn't want to talk at all. And the other one was a lady that was fleeing Hurricane Ida. And in her conversation, she would say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. So you kind of get the idea that she was a Christian, right? Then coming home, there was a young man who had just been moved to uh, Huntsville area, he and his family. And so here's the question I use, not real confrontational, but I go ahead and I ask him, do you have a church home, a place where somebody will love you and care for you? And he said he'd been looking and he'd been going to a place called Willowbrook. So we had a good bit to talk about there. So basically then the question is, what do you think of when you hear the word make disciples? Do you think of, well, that's the staff's job or that's somebody else's job in the church, maybe the teacher, but it isn't mine. But Jesus says for every one of us, as we go daily to make disciples. So I encourage you to don't cheat yourself of that blessing Ask people, do you have a church home? And if they don't, invite them to Willowbrook. And if you meet them here, then you'll get even a greater response. And you'll have that blessing one day in heaven of hearing somebody say, I'm here because of you. You invited me to Willowbrook. Many of you are already doing that and bless you for it. So let's look back over it then. The two questions were, what do you think of when you hear the word church? It's us you and I, and then what do you hear when you think of the word make disciples? That's you and I, that's our privilege. We invite them here, we get them to a life group, we get them studying, and they can find out about what it means to commit their life to Christ. To help you, uh, we have on the website uh, a brochure that says, what does it mean, let me hold that thing. What does it mean to be a follower of Jesus? And it outlines it for them. Then also, if you want to do something even more in depth with them, then we have a new Christian's handbook. And in here, it asks questions, a couple of pages for each question. Who is Jesus? How do we get the Bible? What do you do about sin? So you can read those and go along with them. So these are available to you. And I appreciate all that you're already doing to help build Christ Church here at Willowbrook. Let's pray. Father, we're just amazed that you choose to use us to be part of building your church. And we just thank you for that privilege. 
And now then, Father, help each one of us to be aware as we go about our routine daily business of those who need to hear about you and to invite them to your church here at Willowbrook. In Christ's name, amen.